Hello, my name is Patty Brady. I'm the director of the Working Artist Program for Golden Artist Colors. And welcome back to the Paint Bar. Today we're going to play with layering gels. We're going to play with different viscosities, different transparencies, different opacities, and we're going to create some really interesting textures to experiment with. We're going to start with the first layer, which is going to be molding paste. This gel is filled with marble dust, so it's going to dry white. It's also very heavy. It spreads really beautifully, really smoothly, but it, it will hold peaks. Um, I'm going to tint it today with yellow ochre, which is one of our fluids, and the fluids are this wonderful low viscosity that are great for mixing into gels. Now we're going to apply our tinted molding paste to our gessoed substrate. Once this layer is dry, we're going to add some more embellishment and texture by using a stencil. Secure the stencil and using the same mixture of molding paste and fluid yellow ochre, spread it rather thickly over the stencil and while it's still wet, remove the stencil carefully. Now that the stencils are dry, we're going to add another layer of the opaque crackle paste. When spreading this crackle paste out, scrape it low enough in some areas to reveal the underlying color. Thick applications of the crackle paste will dry with large cracks. Thin applications will dry with a more subtle, small crack. Now that the crackle paste is dry, I'm going to mix two fluids together with a lot of water, and I'm going to stain the surface. I'm going to first dampen the entire surface of the crackle paste, and then apply the stain. And as you can see, the colors will begin to separate because the cracks have little concave spaces in them. For our next layer, we're going to use glass bead gel, which is a transparent gel. And that's going to allow us to see all of these layers that we have previously worked with. When you're applying the glass bead gel, try and apply it very thinly so that when it's dry, those little glass beads will actually capture and bounce light around on the surface. For our final layer, we're going to play with the different viscosities of two of our paints. One is the fluid, which is like a heavy cream, and the other is the airbrush color, which is an ink-like water viscosity. We'll take both of those viscosities of paints and pour them into a paper cup. Without mixing them, we'll slowly pour them down over this irregular surface that we've created and allow the paint to find its own level and spread and mix on top of the surface. Now that the pores have dried, you can see how all those layers underneath have given this paint a great surface to move around on. And we still see all the layers. We see the stencil, we see the crackle paste, we see the base color. And you can see how the colors have bled on top and moved around the glass bead gel and created this really rich, magnificent surface. Well, we've covered a lot of different gels and pastes and ways of using paint today. And I hope we encourage you to go out and try these in your own way, your own layer and your own color combinations. Mm -hmm.